when you want to take the actions on the data. So I, I would say an MCP is a standard for connecting AI assistants to systems where the data lives. So MCP model context protocol. I would imagine like MCP being the HTTP of AI agents. Uh -huh. It's just a protocol. People are creating servers for that, but what um, people are proposing MCP for is just a uh, standard. It's a protocol which GitHub is using. It's a standard so many companies are using. GitHub is using with which you can connect and have an agent. Like I can just type in in my cursor AI, create a project and push it. In one command, it would push it as well. Yes. So it connects different apps. But you still need LangChain which pulls data. So here LangChain will come in Google Docs. You know, pull data from Google Docs, you'll use LangChain to pull it. But your algorithm, which you're using, is 500 faster than LangChain. Yes. So that's how these two connect. What other tools in AI agents, application layer, you think of? You obviously need the LLMs. <laughs> which you use on Grok, G-R-O-Q, not yeah, K. So Grok is the LLM hosting infrastructure. Uh -huh. So LLMs could be uh, divided into two parts. One is the hosting infrastructure. Mm -hmm. People can even self-host our application, run it on their own laptops, uh -huh. running on their own servers. So for hosting infrastructure, we use Grok. And then comes the LLM models, which is OpenAI, uh, Facebook Llama, Mistral's models, and all the other big providers. You definitely need those two. And then comes the traditional tooling, like your front-end tooling, your back-end tooling, your front-end web frameworks, back-end web frameworks, a database. You can use a vector database or you can use a traditional SQL database and add a vector extension to that. Wow. So the extension is now you have data coming in, data agentic with different apps. Now the next goal is storing it and you store it with a vector database. Most people use Postgres as a way for vector database. And with connecting with the vector database, you have now with Postgres a chatbot. You can chat with that data which you have. So this is how the end-to-end -end app is made. And how long did it take you all to build it? 